Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to solve liquid oral suspension dosage calculation problems using the ratio and proportion method. Now, on my website, registernursern.com, I have a free worksheet that you can download and print that you can use to work these problems alongside me. Now, if you'd like to do that, you can access the link in the description below. So with that said, let's get started. Our problem says that we're ordered to give 5,000 micrograms POBID, so by mouth twice a day. We're supplied with a bottle that says on it three milligrams per ml. So every one ml we pour out, it should have three milligrams in it. And we need to solve for milliliters per dose. So we're going to use the ratio and proportion method to help us do that. But there's other methods you can use like dimensional analysis or desired over half formula method. So if you prefer those, you can check out those videos up there. So whenever you're setting up these ratio and proportions, what you're doing is you're creating ratios that in the end, when you solve everything, they should be proportionate, hence equal to each other. So you're going to create a known ratio and an unknown ratio. So to create your known ratio, the information that you need is you need the dose you got over the volume you got, because this is what you know. And this should be equal to the dose ordered, so what the healthcare provider ordered, over X. That's what you don't know, hence why we call it the unknown ratio. But this is what you are going to administer. So let me set it up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so first let's do our known ratio. The dose we got, that's what we're supplied with, what we have in hand, we have three milligrams. This is over the volume we got, which is one milliliter. That's what we have. This is equal to our unknown ratio, which is the dose that's been ordered 5,000 micrograms have been ordered, and that's over X. And we're trying to figure out the milliliters. That's the amount we're supposed to give per dose. So that's where we're supposed to figure out. And in the end, it should be equal to each, each other. Now, one thing I want you to remember about when you're solving these is that these units of measurement here and here and here and here should match each other. So here you should have milligrams and milligrams or micrograms and micrograms. They should just match. And here you should match. Right off the bat, I can see we do not match. So I have to do some converting before I just go and solve this problem and solve for X. I can't do it right now. So right now what I need to do is I need to get this 5,000 micrograms into milligrams. So we know from the metric table that there are in 1,000 micrograms there's one milligram. So I automatically know if I have 5,000 5, micrograms, that's gonna give me five milligrams. So here I am, I'm where I want to be. So I'm just gonna plug that new number into here and then we can do some things. So three milligrams over one milliliter equals five milligrams over X, which milliliters is what we're trying to solve for. Match, match, thought does, and the bottom, match, match. We're good to go. So now let's solve for X and see what number is supposed to be there. So we're going to step four. So three times X gives me three X. One times five gives me five. I need X all by itself. So let's go down to step five. So to get X all by itself, I'm going to divide this three. And when I divide this three, it gets rid of the three. But what I did on this side, I must do on the other side over here. So I'm gonna divide five by three. So bring down my X equals, when you divide five by three, you get 1.6666 repeating. So always round according to how your university wants you to round. I'm gonna round to the nearest tenth. So X is going to equal, 1.7 and how I did that is here's our tenths place that's our hundreds that's our thousands we want to round to the nearest tenth so I'm going to look next door at their hundreds if it's five or greater I'm going to bump that up so it rounds to seven so our answer is 1.7 milliliters per dose now what's really cool about this method is I can check that out and make sure that that's right so to do that I'm going to use this problem here the one after I converted everything and got all the measurements to match up and just plug that into there and see if it's equal on each side. So to do that, just rewrite your problem. Equals, that's milliliters, and then five milligrams over my answer. 
Now the answer I'm gonna plug in here to check will be the one that's not rounded because if you round, use the rounded one, it'll be off. So use the one that's not rounded. So it's 1.6666 repeating. So to check it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide three by one. When I do that, I get three. And then I'm gonna divide five by 1.66 repeating. And when I do that, I get three. So these numbers are, exact, are equal. So this statement is true, three equals three. So our answer is correct. This problem says we're ordered to give a thousand milligrams by mouth daily. We're supplied with a bottle that says two grams per 10 mLs. We need to solve for teaspoons per dose. So first let's create our known ratio. So the dose you got, the dose we got is a two gram dose over the volume we got, which is a 10 milliliter volume. This should be equal to the dose that's been ordered by the healthcare provider, which is a thousand milligrams over X. And we're trying to figure out teaspoons. So that is what we don't know. This is our unknown ratio. So that's step one. I need to, before I start solving for X, I have to confirm that these units match. Does this unit match this unit? No. Does this unit match this unit? No. So I've got to take some converting steps. So let's just go down here and figure that out. Let's convert this into grams. So we know from the metric table that a thousand milligrams equals one gram. So one gram is gonna go here. Now I need to get this into teaspoons because that's where our answer has to be. So from the metric table, I know that one teaspoon is equal to five milliliters. So if I have 10 milliliters, that's gonna give me two teaspoons. So two needs to go here. Now let's rewrite our problem. I'm just gonna underline what we need. Okay, so step three. Okay, so two grams, our volume we've converted into teaspoons, so it will go two teaspoons, equals, we've converted that over, that was what was ordered, into grams, so that'll be one gram over X, and we're trying to figure out teaspoons. So let's just check, it matches, it matches, oh, we're good to go, so now let's go ahead and isolate X and get it figured out, so step four. Okay, we're gonna cross multiply. So two times X gives you two X equals two times one gives you two. We gotta get X all by itself. So let's go down to step five. To do that, we divide by two on this side. So that gets rid of the two. But what we did on this side, we have to do on this side. So X equals two divided by two gives us one. Okay, so it's saying that one teaspoon per dose is what we give. So let's just go quickly check that out by plugging it into our nice and converted ratio, ratios that we made. So we are going to do two grams over two teaspoons equals one gram over what we say we got, we got one teaspoon. So divide everything on this side, divide everything on this side, and see if it really is equal. So two divided by two equals one. One divided by one equals one, and that is correct. So our answer is one teaspoon per dose. This problem says that we're ordered to give 500 milligrams by mouth every eight hours daily. And we're supplied with a bottle that reads on it 150 milligrams per five mLs. And the problem wants us to solve for how many milliliters per day. So notice, it did not say per dose. A lot of people, they may just cut this problem short and just solve for dose because they didn't know that it said per day. So always make sure you pay attention to that part. And that tells me in the end that we're gonna have to do a little bit of an extra step to figure out how much this patient needs for that whole day. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're going to create our known ratio. So the dose we got, we know we got 150 milligrams over the volume we got. We got a volume of five milliliters. This is equal to our unknown ratio, which is the dose that's been ordered. It's a 500 milligram dose. And that is going to be how much we're gonna give, but we don't know how much we're gonna give yet. So we put X here and we need to know how many milliliters to give. So we put that there. 
That's our first step. Now, let's just sort of analyze the problem and see, does everything match up? Can we go ahead and solve? Okay, this unit match this unit? It does. This unit match this unit? It does. So I don't have to convert, which is awesome. We don't have to do those extra steps and just solve for X. Okay, so step two, we're gonna cross multiply. So 150 times X gives me 150X. Put your equal sign and then 500 times five gives me 2,500. Third step. Now I wanna isolate X all by itself. I need him by himself so it can tell me the answer. So I am going to divide 150 on this side. When I do that, it gets rid of the 150, leaves X all by itself. But what I did on this side, I gotta do on that side. So I'm gonna divide this by 150. So 2,500 divided by 150 gives me 16.6, repeating forever, and it keeps going on. Don't round just yet. So that is what we get, okay? Now, that is in milliliters. So we know that that's our milliliters, but currently that's milliliters per dose. So now we have to take it a little bit of a step further. So before we do that real fast, we'll go ahead and check it just to confirm that that was the answer. So let's just plug that in, 150 milligrams over five mLs equals 500 milligrams over my answer I got, don't round yet, 16.6666, repeating forever. So divide this on this side. Whenever I do, I get 30. And when I divide this on this side, bring down your equal sign, I also get 30. So yay, it matches up, it's great. Okay, but again, we're not done because we gotta figure out milliliters per day. So here again, this is per dose. So go back to your problem, look at its frequency. It says that this patient is getting this by mouth every eight hours daily. So if you're getting it every eight hours, how many hours are in a day? There's 24 hours in a day. So 24 divided by eight gives us three. So the patient's getting three doses per day. You need to know that, it's super important. So what we're gonna do, just write yourself a little note, every eight hours, that equals three doses. So. If that's per dose, what we're gonna say is 16.66666, repeating, multiply that by three, and whenever you multiply that by three, you get 50 milliliters per day. And that is the answer. Okay, so that wraps up this review, and don't forget to access the free quiz that will give you more practice problems on this material, and you can access that link in the description below.